Don't worry, I've got the BS. Okay then, this is the Lytherly Frozen Pack. And you can wear this fridge slash freezer very comfortably. And it's the first backpack fridge. There's been plenty of small fridges for camping and sports events released over the years, but they all involve two people to carry them. Normally they would have a handle at each side, which incidentally this one does, but it also has the straps on the back, which are cushioned. There you shoulder straps, that's the one that goes on your back, to enable you to carry it yourself. Now because of the size and weight of this product, it isn't designed for hiking for miles with. But if you park your car and you need to go down to the beach or halfway up a, a mountain or something, for half a mile, a mile or so, then you can easily carry this yourself. I recently took this to Scotland, we went away for the weekend and it was a self-catering holiday. So we needed to take some food and we thought we may as well just take frozen food instead of trying to find a shop right out in the middle of nowhere. And because this will freeze, as well as just refrigerate, we managed to keep the frozen food frozen for the full four hour journey. We got it out at the other end and it went straight in the freezer and it was still frozen perfectly. Likewise, when we came back, we had already eaten the frozen food, but we had a lot of food that needed to be refrigerated because we went to a few farmers markets and delis and so on. So we had meats and cheeses and pies and all sorts of lovely stuff, as well as a few I think there was two bottles of beer and some cans of coke or something. So all of that went in here and on the way back I refrigerated it down to about two degrees Celsius. So on the way back it was a refrigerator. On the way there it was a freezer. Now I really wished that I'd had this years ago because my son played in loads of football tournaments and would be away for a whole day uh, and this would have kept everything we were going to eat and drink perfectly cool all day. With one of these we could have just taken two or three families worth of stuff down. I'll show you inside this and what the various features are on the outside and then I'll give you a few more facts and figures. So starting with the front we've got our release clasps here, a place to put a jumper or something, you know some sort of garment. On off switch, eco switch so you can have either full power or eco and that sets your temperature up and down and this will light up when it's switched on. We're moving around the side, got a strong handle here, underneath that little storage bag you put a spare battery in there, you could put charging cables whatever else you want to put in there. In here we've got our input so we can run this thing from a car. This is actually how we had it set up in our car and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So that just plugs in down there. This long cable plugs into the cigarette lighter on your car and it powers it with very little energy used. So you've, you've got no chance that your car battery is going to be depleted by this thing. It uses so little power. Now on the other side, we've got more or less the same scenario. We've got one of our handles here, a bag for spares, and this compartment at the bottom holds the batteries. And that's the Lytherly batteries. You'll have seen these before if you've watched any of my previous videos on the cordless hedge trimmer and also the Lytherly Eclair 1000 power station, which can be charged by uh, solar or from the mains and these batteries are excellent they've got a USB outlet here and a charging socket on the other side so you can charge it just using an ordinary type C connector a USB connector or you can use your power station it slots in there so now that's supplying power to this or at least it will do when I turn it on and we've got room for a spare battery there and each battery will keep this running for at least six hours. Now on the back we've got our straps which are removable you can take these off if you want 
like so. You just come off like that. As you can hear, that is a secure fitting. So there are your shoulder straps. As you can see, they're really substantial. Because this does weigh a canny bit, uh, I'll put the weights and everything else in the video description. Just under the shoulder straps, you've got that, which would more or less go on the back of your neck, so that's a bit extra padding. And you've got really heavy padding down the bottom here. That would go on the small of your back. These side pieces would go around your waist. So it is a very comfortable thing to carry. And this and this ensure that there's space for air to circulate around the back of here so that the fridge compressor can breathe. The last thing you want is to block that off and stop it from taking air in in order to cool it and also to stop it expelling air out. And then on the top we've got a waterproof cover and that just clips off, folds back. This thing will hold the base strap the very padded one, if you wanted to take that off, and it just velcros on the top. You've got self-sealing zips, or a self-sealing zip, around the top, and that gives you access to your fridge, which, as you can see, we've got crammed full of tins, uh, cans, sorry, cans of Coke, or Pepsi in this case. There's 21 cans in there, as far as I can remember, and they're not packed in really neatly. We could possibly get another couple in there. So this chamber inside of here is where the magic happens, and that will chill down to minus 20, believe it or not. So if we long press that, it comes on. And as you can see, the temperature inside of here is 17 degrees Celsius. We don't want it that warm for our cans. Just take the eco off there and it switches to max. And if we press that, we can set the temperature from 20 degrees Celsius, positive, to minus 20 celsius and that's when it becomes a freezer however for the purpose of this test i will set it at one degree celsius which i think for you guys in the us is about 33 34 degrees fahrenheit okay so it's 10 40 in the morning now just after i've switched that on so we'll see how long it takes to get down from 17 degrees Celsius down to 1 degree Celsius. Now when I tested this empty, it did get cold really, really quickly, but obviously it won't get cold quite as quickly if we've already got loads of cans in there which are at room temperature. Now Lively wanted me to test this empty, but I've already done that. It does cool it down very quickly. For this test, I want to test how quickly it cools it down when it's full of room temperature cans of pop. And it's down to 16 degrees in there already, which I think is pretty impressive because it's only been about four or five minutes. I wouldn't have expected it to, well, it's down to 15 degrees now. <laughs> Very good, as I say, it's only been about five minutes since I switched it on. And all those cans in there are at, well, are, were at room temperature. I'll just give you a few facts and figures while we're waiting for this to cool down. The capacity inside of here is 16 litres. can hold 10 bottles of 330ml cola and 9 bottles of 500ml beers. That's 10 plus 9, that's not 10 or 9. And it has a 42.1 capacity to volume ratio. So for the full volume of this, 42.1% is taken up with actual storage as a fridge or freezer. Ultimately, that means that it has a 77% greater capacity than fridges, portable fridges or portable freezers of a similar size. The weight of this empty is 11 kilos and that's 22 pounds, which might sound like a lot because Obviously an empty backpack would weigh next to nothing, 
This is not, however, just a backpack. It is a fridge freezer. So 11 kilos, when it's over your shoulders, doesn't feel heavy. Once it's filled with cans of pop or meats or whatever it is you want to put in, obviously that adds more weight to it. But the straps on the back, as you've seen, are very padded and they do support the weight very well. The fabric that this is made from is waterproof TPU 840 material, which to be honest I've never heard of, but I can tell that it's got an extremely tight weave, it's thick, it's tear resistant, and it's easy wipe. And if you've got this in your car and you're going up and down hills, you don't need to worry about the switching off because it has got a tilt protection up to 40 degrees and you're going to have to be going up some mighty steep hills for your car to be more than 40 degrees. Oh wow! That's down to 10 degrees already. So I started at, yeah that's 9 minutes. So it's taken 9 minutes to get from 17 degrees Celsius down to 10 when it's full of cans of pop. That's pretty impressive. 54. So 14 minutes and it's down to 7 degrees. If one of your batteries runs low, there will be a notification on here telling you that it's low and you can charge it up just using a solar panel and a USB-C cable. Just plugs into the back of this. And if I zoom in, you'll be able to see that it is in fact charging in this lovely sunshine. There you go. We've got one battery running the fridge. We've got our spare battery charging up in the sun. That's a real off-grid sort of system. Really, if you're out on a camping trip, a solar panel, uh, this one's 20 watts, solar panel and a charging cable, spare battery, that's the way to go. If you're at home and you've got the Litherly power bank, uh, I've got the 1000 version, uh, the batteries just slot into that and you can charge two batteries at the same time from the stored power in your power station which you can charge from the sun or you can charge from the mains. I'm not going to drag that out for this but I'll put a link to it in the video description and actually if you check this out on Lytherly's website, you'll also see the power stations that they do. The one I've got is excellent and they also do all sorts of power tools as well. Everything runs on these batteries. It's now on two degrees so we're almost there. It's going to be less than half an hour to get it from 17 degrees down to one degree when it's full. That's a real test. That's a proper test for this because it does cool air down in here quickly. When it's empty, oh, it's down to one degree, it'll switch off in a minute. And that is, yeah, 26 minutes. And obviously if I just left this to run, come back in an hour or so, the liquid inside these cans is going to be really, really cold. You know, you're going to be able to taste that it's like almost icy cold. And that's how we had it when I was on holiday. That's not bad. So just as a reminder of exactly what is in here. Well, those ones at the bottom are really cold. Yeah, definitely cooler towards the bottom. There we go. 21 tins of pop in here. And I'll just bring the camera in to show you inside and then we'll strap it into the car. It's all our tinnies, obviously they're warming up again in the sun. And that is inside the fridge slash freezer. We've got a, a deep well down here and plenty of space.
then we'll use the long cable which goes into the cigarette lighter. There we are, back in business, ready to go on holiday. Now if you're interested in this or anything else I've mentioned in this video, check out the video description and also the pinned comment. Any useful links will be in there. And there'll also be a link to Lytherly's Indiegogo page where this is currently on special offer.